Snake. Hey guys. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> that's the end. That's it. Hey guys, we're a blind wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Naruto <coughs> Shippuden, where last time on Orochimaru has uh, met a, a limit while he was fighting Naruto. Yep. And he's trying to get away, but then Sai shows up and it's like, I got a secret mission. We don't know what it is. And then he's like, ah! And he just shot a sword at him. Yep. He sure keeps did. coming out of his mouth so mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. And it stabbed him, right? Or did we not see what happened? Well, there was a splash was of a blood sound. and a squelch. Yeah. But we didn't see the sword go through him. Yeah, he could have got like a rabbit put in front of him, you know, real quick or something. Yeah, like a, a rabbit. Psycho a rabbit. A rabbit. Or drawn one. Psycho. Or rabbit. maybe Harvey was standing there or the whole Harvey. time. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko. Yeah, I didn't think that. I mean, I remember the necklace, of course, but like that's the only way that this tenth edict of enlightenment worked. I think so. I think that's what they said. Because he's wearing it, it like enhances the first Hokage's chakra that Yamato has, but it pales in comparison to the original. So they gotta have the necklace. So. When they suppose, said yeah. his chakra flows through the necklace, they were referring to the Hokage, right? Not Naruto. The right? first Hokage. Yeah, yeah. yeah the first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if Tsunade could do the jutsu. She has his DNA. Since Yamato's like her uncle. Yeah, I don't or know. Or like her clone grandpa. I don't know. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, be cloned grandpa in a yeah. way. I think, I don't know. It's not a keki genkai, right? Did we talk about that one time? Uh, it's or never it been is. called a keki genkai. Yeah. Which is a family secret. Where it's this a, feels yeah, like it's a family right. tr- physical trait. Yeah, I, I think it's unique to him, yeah. not just a familial yeah. thing. That's the only reason you clone him, like rather than just yeah. trying to like get one of his descendants. Like I, I think it has to be his actual DNA, not just like his. Mm-hmm. his I suppose, like he had the wording of like it, I inherited this or something, right? But. I don't know. But he's a clone. He's a clone. Yeah. Strange he would have inherited ass. it from, the first Hokage's parents right the same way that the first Hokage did if he did then does it run in the family at all I don't know like could his parents do it I don't know I, don't, I only I mean that because no. like, I don't know sure but in saying like it can't be passed on like there's still the idea that he got it from his bloodline kind of thing too in a way so if it's in his well, blood it's not his bloodline it's, it. it's just it mutation it's just something. another of the Maybe. same guy right sure yeah but where did his blood come from I mean where did quirks come from it's passed through a bloodline. Yeah, but they can be random as well. I mean, they started that way, but then as the bloodline went through, that's why he also, that's why Endeavor did what he did, right? Sure, but so, no one else that we know of has has that power. And Tsunade apparently doesn't have the power. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the whole reason that Orochimaru did the experiments in the first place, right, would be because he needed something specific from that individual, not necessarily a bloodline or a family thing, right? I would think. Otherwise, he would just try and take over Tsunade. I would, I would, Tsunade, I would right? say yes, but it also might be easier to clone someone and control that clone than to try to convert someone who's already existing. Maybe. But he has the bite thing. Like, that's what that's for. But I mean, he already had... He's done it to a few people now. We've seen... Like, it didn't work on the one girl. Right? Wasn't she cursed with his bite? It was broken. Yeah. And then... By... I think it did work on her, just not anymore. Like, it worked on her, on her in the past or something, right? Yeah. She had some type of past with him. Yeah. There was a history there. Mm-hmm. We didn't get too much of it, I don't think. Hmm. Is it broken by Kakashi? I can't remember. But this is Tsunade's riskiest gamble ever. So is the question about, can, can Tsunade do it, or can Tsunade learn it? Yeah, like, could she learn it? Because, like, Sakura asked, and he's like, you know. No. No, my blood, the whatever... Like, can Tsunade learn it if she wanted to learn it? I don't know. I would say she's the most likely candidate. Yeah. I would say from the way he worded it, talking to uh, Sakura, no. He also think... specifically said here, like, to control the nine tails. But before, I thought they said... Chinchuriki. Well, the, they said the necklace was to control Chinchuriki. Right? Uh, I thought when he was talking about the jutsu, he said, like... My ancestor, or whatever they said, tailed beasts in this episode, not in this episode, uh, last episode, or whatever. Yeah, before they said tailed beasts, and here he said nine tails. Yeah. But sure, you could just be saying that because he was taking care of the nine tails as an example moment. of the tail- tailed beasts. Yeah, so I get you, but yeah, I don't know. I wonder how the necklace 
works into all that? Is it like maybe a meteorite and these are aliens? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My, my idea Maybe. was that because he's wearing it, it's like under the layer of chakra that would be protecting him from any outside chakra. And that because it flows through that, that he can like penetrate the barrier mm. to Naruto easier and seal off the or control the, the chakra that or whatever be. of the nine tail. That's why they have him wear it instead of. Uh, but Tsunade Yamato. didn't know that when she gave it to him. Right? She just gave it to him because she reminded him of her younger brother? Uh, Yeah, younger brother and lover. Yeah. Yeah. The same hopes and dreams. We didn't get any information on the Sai Orochimaru thing. We got speculation that he wants the Leaf Village destroyed. Mm -hmm. Or Donzo does. Yep. But yeah, other than that. Yeah. There was was laughably no information. It's yeah. It's like in politics where it's like you look at the other side. They just want to destroy America. It's like, well, no, they don't want to. Like they want to get be better aligned with their principles. Like, no fear. They're like, no, they're trying to destroy the Leaf Village. <laughs> Is what it seems to be, or at least that's what he thinks. I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. The last time the Rochimaro just... showed up, he was literally trying to destroy the Leaf Village. Yeah. Yeah. So I would take that maybe a little bit more literally. I mean, is Sai just following orders? Does he believe in this too? Like, I don't, I, Why did he leave his picture book? Why did he leave his picture book? I don't think Sai believes in anything yeah. right now. I think he's just too... Before he met Naruto. Brainwashed and broken. Mm. Of a, like he's just being used as, a, as an instrument, a, a tool and an yeah. asset, you know? Sure. He's not given any individuality. He's just, you're going to be called Psy for this mission. It's like, yeah. he doesn't have his own name. You're right on Psy. Everything we've seen him draw remains black and white. But we've also seen at Ninja Powers where they can just, like, transform things to look like other things. So maybe he just did that. Like, he drew a fake Psy. And, and then, then he did a replacement he, then Jutsu, then Jutsu on Jutsu. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Instead of a log, he yeah. would turn into an, that. Right? Yeah. I don't know if he can draw colored things. That's why I was like, why is he in the ground? Like, yeah. it makes no sense for him to draw himself, have yeah. himself walk out there, and he's just, like, hey, burling yeah, in the yeah, ground. Yeah, he hit. You, know? <laughs> yeah. you gotta listen, you know? You gotta be close. Well, well it's but not... But a... Orochimaru also said, like, come out and talk to me yourself yeah. kind of thing. Sure. Yeah. So. But I guess he hid right there because his plan was to go with him anyway. Mm-hmm. He just wanted to say his piece first before He, he wanted to know how he was going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what if he shoots me in the face immediately? Like, well, it's a risk we're willing to take. <laughs> I get what Calvin means, though. Like, it's funny that they're, we, we're away, yep. we come back, and they're like, and that's everything he had to 40 say. 40 seconds and of then, silence. And then we spent like a minute of everyone just looking around and dust flying around. And you're like, hmm, interesting. And it's like, well, couldn't we have used that time to tell us what was happening? <laughs> no, we can't. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, they got to do it to stretch or whatever, but it would have been better to just not know what happened to him. I, I would have preferred... Maybe. I would have preferred just more flashback about like the fourth tale coming out with with uh, Jiraiya. Jiraiya, yeah, and like explaining like, oh yeah, that that shit's dangerous. Rather than rather such than a long gap of just intentionally showing you, we could be telling you this. There's something here that you guys want to know. We're not giving it to you. I mean, I guess we're like it's Yamato's perspective, right? Like he can't hear them. Sure. Yeah, but then we shouldn't hear any of that, yeah. right? Like, I would have rather have cut to Yamato and shown him, like, looking on. Yeah. And, like, Instead, we had, like... It was, just, it was a weird moment. 180 shots of them saying nothing and telling the audience that their conversation was very interesting and had lots of information in it yeah. that was good to know, apparently. It was. We need to see it. No. All will be revealed in time. Yeah, just longer time because they got to deal with the fucking pacing. <laughs> I mean, we know the results. Like, Orochimaru seems to trust him now. And yeah. they seem to be working together to accomplish something. They even shows what's in the envelope. They pull that envelope, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, at least get this. It's convincing. Yeah, and it was Orochimaru. blank on one side. He goes, hmm. Yeah. And we couldn't even see because the, they draw it opaque. Yep. Like, if you hold up a piece of paper in the sun, you can see what's written on it. Even Kabuto doesn't know what it says. He yeah. was like, what's it say, Orochimaru? You know, I don't know what Kabuto mm. too. is like, well, we can't trust him. He's like, motherfucker, we couldn't trust you when you showed up, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now. <laughs> Are you controlled by a saucer? Yeah. yeah. Orochimaru just keeps taking our, our 
friends turn. I was surprised that Naruto was like, what? I know he's a jerk, but there's no way he'd betray us. <laughs> what? He would well, easily betray you. you know, Sakura said that too. I guess she didn't see him, but he just rode right past as she was falling to her death. Yeah. <laughs> And Yamato was like, save her! I mean, right now! (laughs) He just swooped her. Uh, Yeah, we were talking about it before the reaction, but Naruto's fox thing is a lot like the Dragon Ball Ape thing. It is. uh, Big destruction, can't remember anything. Yeah. The Ozuru. And they won't tell him. Huh? They won't tell him about it. I I don't know why they won't tell him. Do they not tell him in Dragon Ball? Like, oh, you turned to an ape? I'm pretty sure they'd be like, hey, you turned to a giant ape. What's well, that about? It's, he, he killed Grandpa Gohan. He, so he did. They, they want to keep that from him. Yeah. <laughs> so just don't tell him at all? He didn't kill anybody here. <laughs> <laughs> Some trees. Yeah. I was surprised why they didn't, because I feel like that's something you might want him to know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like does just, he not know that he fucked up Jiraiya's stomach? I don't, I don't think so. I imagine he knows any of it. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know at all that... that if he gets too angry, he can literally be the yeah. Hulk I mean, and I, destroy a village. Without more information on why, I mean, I could try to speculate and, like, maybe him knowing lessens the seal or something. Maybe uh, they just think that, you know, Naruto, as we've seen I, him, like, in the, in the fights that he's had before about how, like, you have control and you have a choice, but telling him, oh, actually, you don't, might, might be a negative thing for his mental health. I don't know. Yeah, but it's like he gets worked up yeah. so that he can like build up his mm-hmm. chakra yeah and then like he just lets the the fox chakra out and then yeah. it's real bad like real if bad. he could be more aware of what happens when you just try and build up as much chakra as you can you will lose control and bad things will happen mm-hmm. like i feel like him knowing would be helpful yeah maybe yeah but you don't want a loose seal loose seal Sorry. <laughs> like I could I could understand it if it's like a Midoriya thing where like if he's aware that he can become that powerful mm-hmm. and he will inevitably use it in a situation where he thinks that it's necessary. Yeah. Like I could see keeping sure. that from him so that he doesn't use it intentionally just over and over whenever Yeah. he needs to be more powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he just kills he himself, can't handle right? It. But they didn't they didn't agree on anything. They're just like we know and I'm not going to say that you can't tell him, but I'll go along if, if you don't tell him. Who right? was the first person to tell him about the fox? It was Jiraiya, right? Like, the power inside of him? Could have been the fox, I don't know. At one point he was with Jiraiya working on the frog thing and went yeah. inside himself, right? Yeah, that was the first like, time. You have, like, to, you have to find a way to unlock right. that shot. So I guess it's part of the course. No one tells him anything. I'm trying to think of anything. Maybe you don't it. tell him because if he knows he can do it, he's going to end up killing himself because it actively hurts him. You know, maybe that's why you don't tell him because... Motherfucker. But it also puts his friends can. at risk, and I don't said? think he would do that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah that's why I like it to, pa- to Midoriya. Gotcha. Of like, <laughs> <But> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a funny guy. I was like, mm-hmm. He like looked at me. <laughs> yeah, his you said it is, as if you just had an epiphany. <laughs> it was so original. I was like, what the fuck? It was funny. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it might be. I mean, Naruto will push himself as hard as he can if he knows he has that power. Yeah. yeah. He could risk himself. It's possible. But he won't risk his friends. Sure. I don't think. Which... It might be a good reason why you like, tell him is like, hey, if you lose control, we could all die. Yeah, <laughs> but like he knew kind of the frog summoning spell, and he didn't do very well with it. But when he needed to pull it out, he pulled out Gamabunta to fight against sure. uh, Gara. You know, like yeah. he's pushing himself when he's like, I need to push myself, and he may push himself at a bad time. Yeah, let me push myself to save my friends. Oh God, my friends! I pushed them (laughs) (laughs) off the bridge. (laughs) Which I hope it's a running joke that they are continuously destroying bridges and that bridge worker is like, aha, more work for me. The guy from like the first arc or whatever it was, like way back when. (laughs) Just builds a lot of like really like awesome looking bridges to have fights on and like (laughs) Didn't he call it like Uzumaki Bridge or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. The the one in the mist or the waves or whatever yeah. it was. We using the button hit from before. Sure. Or, okay. If yeah. it fit, I don't know. Do we have anything else? Do we need to do another one? No. Just make it work. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Naruto with us. We hope that you enjoyed and that you enjoyed so much. Mm. You must subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it that much, you would actually enjoy it more if you were subscribed. So go ahead, hit that button. Watch the whole thing again, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah.
It's like salt and tequila. Yeah. Or is it lime? 